Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the GE refrigerator humidity control. It's going to be a very easy repair and it'll only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new humidity control. The humidity control is located on the fruit and vegetable pan shelf and it's used to control the humidity in the pan. The main reason to be changing it out is if it's lost or damaged. In order to get to the part, we have to open up the refrigerator door. We have to take the fruit and vegetable pan out. All you have to do is pull it out until it stops and lift up on the front and pull it the rest of the way out. With the pan out of the way, we're going to reach in and take the glass off. Just want to carefully lift up from underneath. Then you can pull it out and set it aside. You want to be careful so you don't break it. Now that we have the glass out, we're going to take out the whole shelf assembly. It's going to make it easier to change the humidity control. In order to get the shelf out, we're going to lift up on the front so it comes off its mounting pegs. And then we can pull on it and pull it off the back two mounting pegs. Once you have it free, you can pull it out of the refrigerator. Now that we have the shelf out of the refrigerator, we can take the humidity control off of it. We're just going to come behind it with a really small flathead screwdriver. Now be careful you don't scratch the plastic. And we have to release this locking tab right here. Once you have it released, you can pull the humidity control off the shelf. Here's the old humidity control next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. To put the new humidity control in, we're going to slide it into position. And as you come through the back side, you have to make sure that the arm right here goes into the little mechanism that opens and closes the vents. Once you have that in there, then we can push it in the rest of the way and lock it into the frame. Once you have it in place, you want to make sure the whole assembly moves back and forth. Once you have it installed and it's moving freely, we can put the shelf back into the refrigerator. To put the shelf back in, we have to make sure that the rear pegs go into these openings and then we have to push them all the way back in. So to do that, we're just going to put the shelf back into the refrigerator and line those up. Once you have it lined up, you can push it all the way back. Once you have it in, you can lower the front down so it rests on the front supports and then we can put the glass back in. To put the glass back in, we're just going to carefully feed it back into place and set it onto the shelf. Once you have it all the way back, you can set the front down carefully and then we can put the pan back in. To put the pan back in, all you have to do is carefully lift it into place and set it on the rails. Once you have it on there, you can push it all the way back in. And we can close the refrigerator door, plug it back in, and make sure it starts to cool. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.